I, I used to watch one old fellow, he passed away, do boomerangs, and I watched him. He didn't tell me what to do in my life. But I just watched him and then I got that, got his, you know, from his work, I watched him, I got that idea how to make boomerang then. Father will teach us. Yeah. The father will get me old now and we're going to take the new generation, start painting, teach your grandchildren. What you I'm doing my painting, that's my totem when I use my, my body, eh? For yeah. Corby. I was born near, near the riverside, 1942. I was raised here during the missionary time. I was born in Europanga, I was born here, at Nuka. I'm a cultural leader now, here at Nuka now. And if there's a problem here, seven tribes get together and we, with our leaders and then we settle, settle it that way. All the money from art centers goes back into the community. If you buy from an art center, you can be assured that the artist gets money and the money the other portion of the sales is going back into the community. Okay. For everybody, you know? yeah. Anybody that was interested in doing cultural things for the art centre and to show the world <coughs> as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, right. And people can people can understand them. Ah, oh, this is my family. He got his culture back, you know, they tell you later, you tell your story then. Yeah, that's Make, make it more worthwhile, you know, and enjoyable. Not only by, by the art, do, art, doing artwork, but getting together, you know, here and have tea or have a yarn. And Other than that, I never think staying at home, doing nothing. I'll come to your art center. Ask the manager, give me do a little bit of painting. So the art workers here have been trained in, with computers and social media and, and so all of those things kind of allow people to tell their stories and just exploring their, their own personal story through art. Yeah, I like to, young people to come to, you know, I try to get, get, you know, with good education, you know, regarding how to deal with people. Just gives them a real sense of place and pride, you know. And so you can really tell the young people that have participated in ceremony and know some language. I just I think the more people understand how complex and how rich and how sophisticated the cultures are in Indigenous Australia the more people would come to respect, to respect them and the more Aboriginal communities will be allowed to flourish, be healthy. It's important that the young people participate and get that strength and sense of place. And, and it's happening, you know. I think that there's lots of kind of sorrow, but I, I don't see that so much in Nuka, you know. We've got it back, man. It's been recorded. I don't think look no, I was lost. I don't think we're we'll lost. I don't think look I was lost. Everything here. Yeah. yeah, people yeah. come after school, yeah. they come here and kids. People, they got it in their head. Everybody interested now, huh? young people. And they, you know, when they take part, they go in and participate. They, they, they got an interest, you know. So, Actually, now I'm, I'm happy, and all the other elders are happy because of that interest, you know, they had. There's lots of young people learning their language and learning their song lines and strong cultural people, you know. And so I think, you know, it's in good hands.
Dedeng indi, dedeng indi ngambung ngambung. Nesher ngan pinewi mirengi.